Auto Clips, and today we are going to do an unboxing. We this is not going to be something we do normally, but we just thought this would be a perfect thing to do it for. This is the MS450 Mitchell Electric Guitar. Uh, we haven't seen any of these videos out on the internet, so we thought we'd be the first ones, and we'll give you our honest review. So just to let you guys know, we're not sponsored by Mitchell, but if you want to hook us up, Mitchell, maybe send us some free guitars. We'll review them. It'll be less negative, all positive. Uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll do that. Not us. saying that this is going to be negative. We've never seen this guitar before. If I don't like it, I will return it. That is the deal. I got it at Guitar Center for three hundred sixty dollars. It was on sale for uh, Cyber Monday. Yes. Which they did extend to their uh, Cyber Monday, so. We're going to fast forward this part. Yes. If you guys really like these unboxing videos, we'll do them again. But we'll probably just keep it up with these sports videos. Yeah. To me, this guitar looks really small in the box. But when I got my last electric guitar, it looked really small, so. Looking pretty nice already. It looks like it's brown. I got, I forgot the color name, but I got a sun, like a... It's like reddish. It's like a reddish orange sunburst. Uh, and I just thought it looked like the best one. So this is just a normal guitar, six strings. It has uh, hum, uh, humbucking double pickups and a lot of other features that I don't really know. So let's see. Please, don't be bad. That's the goal. Goals for a second. Thank you. Just gotta make sure there's nothing else important. Oh, yes. This is very important. Extremely, not really. What do you use an Allen key for on a guitar? I should know, but I don't. Okay, here we go. Thank you, sir. How do you wanna, do you wanna pull it out that side? Oh, uh, yes. Is it cut open on that side? Yes. So what I'll probably do, and what I would recommend for people to do, is replace the strings on a new guitar. Because they just have these more for looks. Yeah. But I will not, because I don't have strings right now. Plus, I'm sure it will play fine. Okay. What a wonderful sound. Oh. Honest review. Here we go. Oh, I love this sound. Are you joking? <laughs> Uh, let's see. How does it look? Oh my. Oh, that looks great. That looks beautiful. <whistles> Take off that tape. That is, that is very nice. Here's how it looks. The reason I got this color is because I thought it went very well with these gold knobs. And every color had the gold knobs, and so I thought it went best with this. And also the wood back I thought went well with the orange and red. So that's why I got it. I thought all the colors matched very nicely. Um, on the neck, there is stripes on, uh, to show what fret. Um, and dots on the top. Yes, dots on the side. The neck is very smooth. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, this is different from like a Strat. The Strat has like a rougher neck that's hard to move up and down the fretboard. Um, See. Yeah, that's fretboard. I, I know what that is. Okay, so after some taking off of the tape, I noticed a few things, which is very unfortunate by Mitchell. Maybe I don't want you to sponsor me. No, I'm joking. Please do. Uh, right here, right under the pickup, it has this little rubber. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sticking out. And on the back, there are two cracks. Probably a shipping. Um, yes. Uh, well, but there's, you could see in the box there were two holes right in that same spot. Everything else looks really nice though. Like I really like the color of this. So we're gonna give this a play. Uh, I'm going to give this a play. Sorry, I'm not good, so just don't hate on me. Um, really good. And uh, let's just see how it sounds. Wonder Wall, baby. Let's go.
I mean, if this isn't the best guitar you've ever seen, then you haven't seen many guitars. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, that sounded... Yes. My opinion, and I haven't messed around with too many of the settings yet, because I'm not very good. I just know the stuff, but I don't know how to use it. Uh, this is a very, very good guitar. Unfortunately, the shipping had some problems. Um, so I'll probably send it back and get the same one. But I personally would recommend this for a, like, if you're a beginner and you're looking for a better guitar, or it's, you're an intermediate and, well, you just it's still semi, want a better guitar. It's still semi-budget, though, so, like, it's... Yeah, it is. I mean, 360 is a lot, but it's not a lot at the same yeah. time. Depends on your budget, but right. if you don't have a high budget, this would be probably, like, the highest you'd be willing to go. And I would recommend it. Also, because if this is your first guitar, if you do happen to end up quitting, which I wouldn't want you to, but if you would, it would still look nice in the corner of your bedroom because of just how nice it looks. Yes, and uh, when you first get your tire and you start playing it and you tune it, it's gonna get out of tune pretty quickly because they're new strings and they'll stretch out. Um, yep, keep that in mind. There's not something wrong with it. So. Yep, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you wanna see more, uh, let us know, and uh, I think that will be about it. Mm -hmm. See you Thanks guys later. Watching.